everybody knows the uh, challenges of a change set if you guys have uh, been through the happiness of using these before. So let's talk a little bit in terms of when we actually have to find, you know, an Apex class, for instance. You have to go to the drop down up at the top here, you have to select Apex class, pick the one you're looking for. Uh, if you don't have the appropriate place, you have to go and specify which letter it starts with, and then click add to change set. Now, if you have 100 of those, you have to repeat this 100 times for the number of components that you're actually talking about. And if you talk about the actual average of 200 components per, per release, you're adding a lot of time to the amount of time you're actually adding components to your packages. Now, with the beauty of our solution, we can specify which organization we're targeting for a source and just type in the beginning words of the uh, of the component you're trying to add. It shows up in the screen below, you check the box off, you click save and you're good to go. Compared to all the work you had to do here to find the Apex class, to select the letter that it starts with, to find and repeating it for every single one. Now an additional beautiful feature that we've also put into place is adding the type here. So for instance, say that we added three different custom features, custom components, custom tab, custom page web link, and a custom field. All we have to do is put the word custom here. We can add all three of these simultaneously by doing a check all and clicking a save. Now imagine on the change set, you have to change this uh, drop down three different times to add these three different components. Again, adding a lot of time to your, uh, to your process here. Now to bring it home in terms of how much effort a change set really is gonna take, first you have to log into the source. We have to go to an outbound change set after we've created that uh, change set and sent it off for a source uh, for our target org. We have to add all those components. We have to log into the destination after we push it over to the uh, place we're going to. We have to click the outbound change the inbound change set and then we have to deploy it. And we have to do this every single time for the number of instances. So if you go from your dev org to your test org to your production org, now you've had to repeat this a few different times. Whereas our solution, we've got a little bit better scenario our solution, we've dropped that down from so many steps down to three. So you can select your components from multiple uh, targets here. So all these steps here can be done from a single UI. Instead of where it changes that you have to go to multiple screens, multiple environments. With this solution here, literally you're doing it from one place. So you can see we can add from multiple environments here. We can target uh, an environment here and then click deploy. It's really that simple. 